Good evening, Juan Carlos. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good, teacher. Okay. Great. How was your day? Oh, very good, teacher. Uh, a lot of work. But... But fine. It was all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Um, let's see. Well, you finished with the platform, right, Juan Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. Good evening, Rodrigo. Good evening, teacher. I'm laughing. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? Fine. Very fine. Very fine. Okay. Great. How was your day? It's great. Very good. I think it on Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. Good day. Definitely. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the Friday mood already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sounds nice. Yeah. Good evening, Gladys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, how was your day? Very good. Excellent. Very good. So yes. were you able to finish with the work in the platform? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you take the final exam and everything? Yes. You did. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Good evening, Adonai. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. And you? Very, very well. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, funny. Very hard, but funny. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, very nice work? day. Yes, tell me. Okay. And you finished with the work in the platform too, I don't know. Yes, I'm finished, teacher. All You're the done. all the course. Okay. Yes. Very well, and uh, were you guys able to send the documents you were asked for the new registration and everything? You got in them. In my case, ready? yes. You got them, I yes. know. Very good. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. Juan Carlos and Gladys, did you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. So now you are pre-intermediate two students. That's very yeah. nice. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But for the next time, I think that's going to be better that uh, send, throw us the paper for to inscription mm -hmm. because the send directly the, the, the building or the business or the factory and nobody knows. Yeah, it's kind of hard, but um, we must stick to what Insaforb says, you know, they have their own rules. So I guess that's why. But yeah, in yeah, that case, the, um, what the you thing can is do is... That, uh, continue. Yeah, but you can, uh, you can uh, make it both things, send directly and give us the copy. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea too. So yeah, just remember to be checking about that. Um, remember that just one week before the, the course ends, they start collecting all the documents. So be, um, be there checking on that, okay? Just remember about it. All right, so um, do we have any questions, any doubts about what we have been studying? Maybe not. No, teacher. Everything's it's clear. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's clear all. Great. So, well, let's see what we have for today's class then. Um, so yesterday we were reviewing the conversation, right? Let me get 
that one. So we listen to this conversation, which is um, a conversation between May Lee and I can't remember the name of the man, Marcos. Yeah, Marcos. And I wanted just to practice the pronunciation. Let's see. Let me just. Hello. Wait for... Do you come from a big family? How many brothers and sisters? Okay, so let's practice pronunciation. Um, I need you to repeat after me. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei Li? How many, how many brothers, brothers, how many brothers sisters and sisters, sisters do you have, have Mei Li? Actually, I'm an only child. Actually, Actually I, I am an only child. Only child. Really? 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 Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Most, most families in family China in China have only China one nowadays. child nowadays. 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 I didn't know that. Didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. What about you, Marcos? What about, what you? about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I come from, I a, go big from a big family. family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I, I have, have three, three brothers, brothers and, and two sisters. sisters. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Is that typical in Peru? Is that typical Is that in Peru? Typical in, Is that typical Peru? Typical in Peru? Not really. No, Not really. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. A lot of, a lot of families are smaller, small smaller these this days. Day. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. But, but big, big families, families are great because, great because, you, because get you get lots presents. of birthday presents. Okay, of very well. Presents. I needed to repeat brothers. Brothers. brothers, sisters, sisters, Sister. actually, 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 only child, only child, only child, 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 child. 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 only child, only child. child. child, really, 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 most, most. most. Families. Family. Family. China. 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 Nowadays. 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 Let's see. Typical. 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 Peru. 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 No, Peru. 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 Okay, not yeah. really. No, really. really. Not really. Smaller. 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 These days. These days. These days. Birthday. 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 Birthday presents. Presents. Birthday presents. Birthday presents. Birthday present. Lots of. Lots, Lots of. Lots of. Lots of. Lots Lots of. 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 Okay. Lots. Um. Let's just have a pair to read the conversation. Do I have volunteers for this? Any volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, and me, teacher. Me, teacher. And Gladys. Okay, Adonai, you start. Okay. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, 
most family is China, have only one China network day. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I am come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big family are great because you get a lot of birthday present. Okay, thank you. So please everybody repeat, actually. 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 Only child. Only child. Only child. Only child. Only child. Nowadays. 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 Peru. 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 A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Lots of. Lots, lots, lots of. of. So we have two different forms of this quantifier. A lot of in lots of, and the meaning is just the same, okay? Okay. All right, so now I want you to tell me about your families. So tell me, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Adonai? I have one brother and one sister. Okay, very good. And Gladys, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two brothers and three sisters. You have a big family. Yeah. That's nice. Marina, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother. Only one brother. Okay. Yes. Very good. Hilda, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have a one brother teacher. Only one brother, okay. Only one brother. Vicky, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have uh, one brother and one sister. One brother and one sister, okay, nice. Rodrigo, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have uh, three brothers. Three brothers, okay, yeah. nice. Silvia Roxana, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Um, hi, teacher. Um, um, one brother and two sisters. You have one brother and two sisters. Okay. Yeah. Juan Carlos, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother and two sisters. One brother and two sisters. All right. Yeah. And I think Roxana Lisette is missing. So Roxana, tell me how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three sisters and I don't have brothers. Okay, only three sisters, nice. Okay, so in today's class, we are going to talk a little bit about the quantifiers. So in this lessons, you will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. So let me get back to the platform. And we're going to watch the video and hear the explanation about the use of quantifiers. Please pay attention. Quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child.
Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, so those are the quantifiers we are going to review right now. So as, as Jessica mentioned, you have um, the percentage from 100 to 0%. And well, we have different options. The first one is all, right? We indicate that 100% of the group does or doesn't do something. Then we got nearly, nearly all, which would be like 95%, maybe 98 or so, but it's not exactly the, the 100%. Then we got most. Going down, we get many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. So, um, well, I needed to repeat all. Oh. Oh. Nearly all. Nearly all. Nearly all. Nearly all. Most. 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 Many. Most. Many. Many. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Some. 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 Not many. Not many. Not many. many. A few. A, A few. 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 No one. No, no one. No one. And as we heard in the video, we use them all together with a plural noun. For example, all women, nearly all men, most families, many students, a lot of teachers, and so on, right? Except the last one, no one. In that case, the only thing you need to add is a verb and then the complement, right? No one goes to school, for, ex for example. No one goes. And then um, it's also important to notice that you use it with, the, with a singular verb. Goes, gets, uses. ¿Ok? Se utiliza como, eh, como singular. Entonces vamos a utilizarlo con el verbo en tercera persona. Ok. Um, are we clear about the meaning of quantifiers? in the use of them. Guys, are we clear about quantifiers? Yes, no? Do we have any questions? No, teacher. No questions. All right, so now it's time to practice. I will send you to the breakout rooms to, um, well, for you to work in small groups. You are going to make example sentences using the quantifiers. So just make a sentence for each of the quantifiers. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, so let me send you a picture of the quantifiers to the WhatsApp group, and I'm sending you to the breakout rooms right now.
sí, pero quiero ver si ya mandó, no mandó la imagen. Uh, I just send it now. Maybe it's loading. Let's see. Okay, thank yeah, you, it's teacher. Going through. The internet has been uh, working so wrong, so bad. Very slowly in this case. Definitely. Yeah, it's very bad in the night. It is. For all, for all the people, it's very... Yeah, very and especially slow. because of the weather, I would say. Yeah, the weather is very bad for the network connection. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. okay, I think you got them, right? You got it, the picture. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's start, Silvia. Um, okay. Okay, one example about uh, using the quantifier all. Hagamos mm -hmm. usando la, el quantifier all. Mm -hmm. eh, what is all? Todos. Todos. Ah, ok. Uh, sería de hacer una oración con cada... Yes, cada bueno, con alguna. Por ejemplo, okay. eh, podría ser... All, all the peoples have, uh, I don't know. Have all the people have thinking. cell phones, for instance? Yeah, <laughs> all, all the people have cell phones or all the people okay. have a house or a dog, something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. All people. A cell phone. So. Yeah. A cell phone. Okay. Uh, some, oh, uh, we have, for example, some, some, podría ser, some people in El Salvador have re, red hair. Que es, algunas personas en El Salvador tienen cabello rojo. Ah, some people in El Salvador. Red hair. Right. Red hair. Red hair. Okay. Yeah. Um, y sería nearly all, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Esto sería con nearly all. Este... Vamos haciendo esos. No sé, se me ocurre. No more. Yeah. Yeah, ¿verdad? No more. Yeah. Um... No muchos. Ah, que es raro hacer oraciones con esto. Me acuerdo de la. O oh, una, te voy a hacer una fácil, una easy. Eh, the girls. The girls. Ajá. O sería a la of... The girls. I don't. Um, is um, pretty. <laughs> is intelligent. <laughs> Repetila. I repeat, please. Eh, oh, ner. ¿Cómo es? Nady. Nady era, ¿verdad? Nady all. You say oh. nearly, nearly all. Nearly, oh, nearly all. Oh, nearly all. Nearly, nearly all. The child is happy. Nearly all children. Children. Nearly. Yes. Remember, we use plural nouns, right? Oh, yeah. So nearly all children are happy. Are happy. Children are happy. Casi todos los niños son felices. <coughs> yeah. uh, most. Um, I have many candy. See the Zoom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes. Um, 
in this week, a few days, a few days, um, how do you say Sally El Sol? Um, <laughs> the sun shone, you could say. Um, el sol el no precisamente salió, que podríamos decir el sol brilló. So the sun shone. El verbo es shine. Shine que brilla. Ajá, shine y el pasado shone. Okay. Entonces, eh, eh, sería oh. eh, in this week, eh, a few days, the sun shine. The sun shone. The sun shone. 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 Yeah, <laughs> okay. let me just write it in the chat. Let me type it so you have it. So you got shine, shone. There you are. Shine, shown, shown. The, 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 the sentences can be in this week, a few days, the sun shone. Yes, Call that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um. Teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Listen. For example, almost young people are quiet. I say almost people. all. Almost all almost young all. people. Young people are quiet. Exactly. And another sentence is I work. Most of day of the week. I work most days of the week. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat, please? I work most days of the week. Okay. Of I am. Um, I have many. Many dogs. No, no se puede decir así, teacher. Algunos perros. Many. Sí, you can say that. Just that many, muchos. Ah. Muchos. Many, ajá. Some sería algunos. Uh -huh. I have some dogs. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Can you repeat, Marina? I have some dogs. Okay. Um, I'm finished the exercise, Vicky. Yes. Yes. Uh, teacher, uh, I create the sentence uh, with a quantif quantify. The is correct is the say uh, um, nearly all in El Salvador likes pupusas. Nearly all people you should you should should say mm. nearly, nearly all, all nearly all people in El Salvador like like pupusas. In El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay, nearly all people in El Salvador like pupusas. Like pupusas. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay. Eh, not many child have internet. Not many children. Mm -hmm. Children. Yes. Have internet. Yes, that is right. Okay. Um, 
and many families how to child or children in El Salvador. Many families have two children in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just remember that children is the plural of child. El singular is ah. child y el plural children. Entonces ahí ya no necesitamos okay. agregar ese porque ya lo tenemos. Children. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. So we're getting back to the main um, room in just a couple of seconds. Okay. okay. Hi, guys. Are you done? Uh, no, we are talking about a lot of things because... It's interesting that Juan Carlos made. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Juan Carlos is a carpenter. Oh, nice. Yeah, building yeah. furniture, doors, and oh. he's talking about uh, making the bricks in the future. Oh, right. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's interesting. I, 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 I have two, two jobs in, in, in this moment. Pandemic is I, I work in carpenter, but my profession is is um coach. Coach. Oh. Yeah. Is that like a sports coach or what do you do? And I coach and um, soccer. Oh, okay. Oh. That's interesting. Sugar. Very good. Yeah. I was thinking in dark science, soccer in dark science is my future. Okay. okay, so we're getting back to the main room right now, okay? Okay. Okay, so let me hear some of your examples. Let's see, Rodrigo, do you have an example using all? All, all guys bring red jacket. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Silvia, tell me another one using all. All the people a cell phone. All the people have cell phones. Okay, all people have cell phones. Very good. Franklin, tell me an example using nearly all. Uh, okay, uh, uh, nearly all children are happy. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos, another one using nearly all. Nearly all. Nearly all tables are good. Nearly all? Can you repeat it? Table. 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 Mm, sorry, couldn't get it. Table. Okay. Uh, say Nearly the sentence. Are good. Okay. Thank you. Hilda, give me an example using most. Mm. Most people in El Salvador like pupu. All right, thank you. Adonai. Okay, yes, and tell me an example using many. Many people in El Salvador has has car. Many people in El Salvador have have car. Sorry. Have cars, okay. Gladys, give me an example using a lot of. A lot of, a lot of the people eat pupusas. A lot of people eat pupusas, okay, on Sundays. 
Ensemble. Okay, thank you. And um, let's see, Roxana Lisette, tell me another example using a lot of. A lot of women work or in this time. Okay, nowadays or these days, you could say. I need a lot of money. Mm, that's right. Vicky, <laughs> tell me an example using some. Some family. Um, How? Sorry, Vicky, I couldn't hear you. Can you repeat it, please? Some families have two children in El Salvador. Some families have two children in El Salvador. Okay, let me just um, clarify something over here with the word children. Well, the singular is child, only one child. Then we have the plural, which is children. So there you do not need to add any S because you okay. have child, only one, children, two mm -hmm. or more, okay? Teacher, oh, okay. thank you, teacher. Teacher, what is the difference in kids and children? There is no difference. It's just a synonym. So we have kids yeah. and kids, child and children. We can use both. Yes, you can use both in the same cases. They are just synonyms. Okay, um, next one is not many. Hilda, give me an example, please. How many? Not many. Um, not many, no. <gasps> Let me see. Okay. Not many. No many people eh, in, in El Salvador eat fast food. Okay, thank you, Hilda. Marina, okay. tell me an example using a few. Um, I have a few pets. I have a few pets, okay. Rodrigo, tell me another example using few. Uh, few, uh, few, few money for this. This, this, this house, this home. Okay. Thank you. Adonai, um, tell me an example using no one. No one people study now in El Salvador. Okay. In that case, you should say no one studies in El Salvador no or one no studies. one studies ah, okay. nowadays in El Salvador. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, remember that in the case of no one, we do not need to add any other noun. Ah, uh, okay. I understand. We only add the verb okay. and then we say the, the complement. We add the, the complement, okay? Um, so okay. Thank you. we can make some other examples. No one. Let's see, um, tell me another example, please, anybody? No one drive uh, slow. No one drives slowly. Okay. Another one. No one goes to school because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Tell me another one, please. No one. Anybody? No one can live forever. No one can live forever. Okay. Thank you. All right. So notice that um, right after no one, we use a verb, right? Drives, goes, and can live. 
And then if you go for the simple present, you should use the, the third person, thrives, goes. Okay, um, so now let's talk a little bit about the present simple versus the present continuous. So when do I use the simple present? Well, I use it when I'm talking about habits, regular or repeated actions. For example, the things I do every day, I wake up at seven, I go to the gym, I come, <clears throat> Sorry, I come home at 7 p.m. Those are habits, regular things, regular actions. And then we have the present continuous. When do I use the present continuous? Well, I use it to talk about actions in progress in near future. So when we talk about what's happening now, we use the present continuous. And we're studying English. We're finishing our course today. Then some time markers for the present simple are always, never, often, sometimes, every day, once a month, twice a week. So as you see, they indicate that we're talking about something habitual, something that um, we do repeatedly. And on the other side, we have the present continuous with time expressions like now, right now, at the moment, these days, and this month. And then let's remember about their structures. So for the affirmative in the present simple, we must add S to the verbs for the third person. Can you tell me a sentence using the simple present, please? In the affirmative form. Let's see, can somebody give me an example? Tell me about something you do every day, just anything, any actions. I take my breakfast at 8 a.m. I take my breakfast or I have my breakfast. Oh, wait, this is. Yeah. I take my breakfast at what time did you say? Ten p.m. Okay. Ten p.m. All right, and then if I need to change that sentence to the third person, I must add an S. So I say she takes she takes her breakfast breakfast at 10 p.m. At 10. At 10. Oh, we said p.m. It's a.m. A.m. Yes, thank you. All right, so that is what happens in the affirmative form for the present simple. Now let's talk about the present continuous. So what is the structure that we follow in the present continuous? Can you help me with that? Well, I am I'm thinking the same, the same sentence and all another sentence. Mm -hmm. Yes, the same sentence is a good, it's good. So remember that we use the verb be plus. And I'm taking my breakfast. Exactly, thank you. So we use the verb be plus an ing verb. Then we have examples like I'm taking my breakfast at 10. And it doesn't change for the third person. You always go like this. Just remember that we use the different forms of the verb be, um, is or are, then we add the ing verb. Okay, now what happens in the negative? For the present simple, 
what auxiliaries do we use? Do that. Use, but in the negative? Don't and doesn't. Don't and doesn't. So remember we use don't for I, you, we, and they, and doesn't for he, she, and it. So give me an example using any of those, don't or doesn't, please. Marina, give me an example, please. Um... Mm -hmm. I use the word play. Play. Mm -hmm. I never. But remember, we are making a negative one. So I don't. I don't play. Mm -hmm. Um. Video. No, okay, um, let's say basketball. I don't play basketball. It's true. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, also, if we had to make one in the third person, she doesn't. She doesn't play basketball. Oh, she doesn't play basketball. Okay, let's use the same one. Okay, then in the negative form of the verb of the person continuous we have what do we use we use the verb be plus not and then again the verb in ing give me an example please um vicky in the same sentence. Yes, that's fine. Uh, she isn't. She isn't playing basketball. Playing basketball. Okay. And then we go to the questions. So, what are the auxiliaries that we have for questions in the present simple? Mm -hmm. We use do and does. Do or does. And does. Again, right? We have do for I, you, we, and they, and does for he, she, and it. Tell me an example of a question in the simple present, please. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Okay, now tell me another question, but using thus. Does he that she has? Does that he? Has have a book. A book. Thank you. Does he have a book? And remember that as we are using an auxiliary, do or does, we keep the verb in the simple form, in the base form, right? Have, go, do, it. We do not change the verb. Okay, and then tell me about the questions in the present continuous. So what is the first element? Subject to be. Okay, we start with the verb be. 
Then we need a subject. After that, we add the verb in ing. And then a complement and a question mark. Tell me a question in the present continuous, please. Franklin. Okay. Let's see, Franklin. Uh, I don't know this year. Okay. All right. So let me make one. Are you paying oh, attention? Are you paying attention? Is she dancing? Okay, so that is what we have for present simple and present continuous. So keep in mind, if you're talking about something that is habitual, regular, or repeated, you use the simple present. If Otherwise, you're talking about the present, the actions that are in progress or actions that are not permanent, then you talk in using the present continuous. So here I have an exercise for you to understand better. Okay, there, here we have some sentences. We are going to make them using either the simple present or the present continuous. For example, number one, what do you think it is? It says you come present tonight. Continuous. Okay, so how does it go? Tell me. Are you, are you Coming tonight. Coming tonight. Exactly. We say, are you coming tonight? And how do I know that I need the present continuous? Well, because of this word, tonight. So it's something happening at the moment, right? Or in the near future. Next one. He eat rice every day. Any ideas? Do I say that he eat rice every day or is he eating rice every day? Is he eat rice every day? Is he or does he? What do you say? Is he well, in this case, we need a simple rice. present. Yeah, we say, does he eat rice every day? Because we're talking about something that happens every day. That is a routine, right? Something habitual. And ¿Cómo vamos a distinguir cuando utilizar cada uno de ellos? Cuando uso el present continuous y cuando el simple present. Dependiendo del contexto en el que estoy hablando. Si estoy hablando de algo que va a pasar pronto o que está pasando en el momento en que hablo, por ejemplo acá, tonight, are you coming tonight? Es futuro, eh, futuro eh, near future. So we say, are you coming tonight? Si en cambio estoy hablando de algo que pasa every day, Ya me implica que estoy hablando de una de un hábito, de una rutina. Entonces, ahí debo utilizar el simple present. So I say, does he eat rice every day? Next one, I work at the moment. Do we say I'm working or I work? I'm working. At the moment, working. I'm working exactly. I'm working, working at the moment. At the moment. Yes, at the moment. Exactly. So we say this way because we're using the time marker at the moment. 
Then we have he come to London often. What do you think we say over there? Does he? Does he come to London? Come to London often. often. Okay, pretty well. Next one. He played tennis now. He is he playing is, tennis now. He is playing he tennis, is playing tennis now. now. He is okay. playing, playing tennis now. Number six, you come to the cinema later. You are come. Are coming. you coming? Come. To the cinema later. Uh -huh. Exactly. Are you coming to the cinema later? <laughs> they not come to the party tomorrow. They are. They are. are. They are. They are. They are. They are. Exactly. Coming to the party they aren't tomorrow. Coming to the party tomorrow. And number eight, he not play golf now. He isn't. He isn't. Uh, he isn't. Playing. Playing. Go now. Go now. Very well. So that is for you to have an idea on how to uh, how we distinguish between the present continuous and the present simple. Do we have any questions? Any doubts? So far, so good. Okay, so let me just take a couple of minutes to talk about the final exam. I know many of you have already developed it, but let me just uh, make sure that you understood the, the directions and everything. So in the first part, you have a listening exercise. You must listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So here you have the audio, you listen, and remember that it is not recommendable to listen more than three times. So you should listen from two to three times, and then you should get the answers to the questions. Over here, you have some blanks to, to um, fill in. For example, Kathleen has, and you have three different options, four, seven, nine brothers and sisters. And that is what you do in, in, in this exercise. Then we have um, the second part of the exam is complete the conversations. You have to complete the sentences using do, does, or would. So here you have to type your answers. And part C is a multiple choice exercise. You have to choose the correct word. So there again, you have three options. Then you have a blank. You must choose the one that corresponds. And at last, we have a reading exercise. We must read the article, then check the correct answers. So there you have some different options. You must select the one that is correct for the statement. Okay, so that will be pretty much it. Thank you very much for your attention, your participation. Congratulations, now you are a pre-intermediate two students. That's very nice. And keep practicing English. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Thank you. To see you soon. Thank you, teacher, for all your help. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much, teacher. Okay, take Bye, care, people. everybody. Thank Bye, you, good teacher. Night. Bye, -bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.